everybody welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing something that I haven't done in a very long time but I've been wanting to do I've been getting a lot of DMs about the study with me that I used to do and I kind of felt like I wasn't really gonna be truthful if I was going to make a study with me um, within the last term because last term was honestly horrendous in terms of my work ethic it just went completely downhill because of the transition to online uni anyways I really wanted to take you guys with me and wanted to study with you because I actually go back to uni today I have oh there's a plane I think it's done I think the plane is gone it's my first day back at uni well technically online uni because of the whole COVID-19 situation but I have a full day of studying ahead I'm currently doing two TAFE courses alongside uni as well as a side course that I picked up for graphic design during isolation I really wanted to learn and develop new skill sets and I didn't want to be just limited to one as in my course in particular I love design and I love everything about it it's really fun it's really enriching and it really challenges you to think outside the box but I just felt like I didn't have any other um, skills in terms of business so that's why I picked up e-marketing and I picked up a customer service course that I could um, do throughout isolation and um, do kind of laxly throughout uh, my studies of uni because uni obviously number one is my biggest priority but I did want to also try to just not be limited to design and kind of venture out into business and brand development for us in Australia, the government is subsidising free courses for people to do at home to kind of let you develop new skills throughout isolation and so when you go back into the work field, you have new things and new skills that you can use to get jobs. So that's why I highly recommend if you guys are in Australia and especially because people are just getting out of uni or are on break at the moment. It's kind of different for my uni because we just got on. But if you definitely don't have anything to do and you kind of want something to study that's other than your course or maybe a build on from your course, then definitely look into the TAFE free fee courses. So before this, I just ate breakfast and brushed my teeth and put on a face. I definitely recommend that you guys have a filling and nutritious breakfast before you go into your day of study. Like that's the biggest thing that I want to tell like kids, don't skip breakfast. Like I used to skip breakfast all the time in high school and I would wonder like why I was so tired in the mornings and I couldn't concentrate. It's because I wasn't allowing my brain to have the brain power it needed. So definitely have a nutritious breakfast. I just did some of my homework that I have due today as I was eating and I just submitted that and now here I am. So yes, now I have to learn Cinema 4D but it's pretty cool because that was the same editing animation software that was used to make Detective Pikachu and like CGI's and stuff so I'm gonna be learning how to do that which is pretty cool with things that you struggle with you should prioritize first so that you have more time to develop your skills and your understanding of it I don't know if you guys remember or remember from my old vlogs I had a subject called techniques and I absolutely hate that subject like techniques is basically just architectural drawings and documentation sets that require a lot of accuracy, time, and but this isn't my room. I'm actually staying with Luke for quarantine, so I'm just gonna be studying in his room. I'm gonna show you guys my study setup thingy. One second. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I have my Legion laptop or my gaming laptop that I use predominantly for uni. And this is my Google Calendar. I actually cannot survive 
without my Google Calendar. Everything that I need to do on my Google Calendar as well as the places I need to go. I have, I went back to work recently as well. So that's why I had to incorporate that into my schedule and just really plan everything out or else I did feel overwhelmed if I didn't have a schedule. This is my Mac that I've had since high school. And this is basically where I do my, my tape assignments and my graphic design courses and also my editing for YouTube, basically where I do my loose work. So this is strictly uni programming this is strictly um youtube editing and loose works also i wanted to show you guys this computer i remember i asked on my instagram a while ago that i was tossing up between a macbook pro or microsoft service book but after talking to a lot of people and thank you so much for voting on the poll and thank you so much for the people who actually dm'd me i really wanted to get a laptop that would last me for my studies and I did so much research, you guys have no idea. So this is my legion. Um, the four things that you need to look at if you are wanting to buy a laptop for heavy programs such as the Adobe Creative Cloud or editing softwares or 3D modeling softwares, definitely look into gaming laptops and you look for four particular things. You look for the graphics card, the RAM, the processor and the memory storage. So this computer in particular has a GeForce GTX Nivea, if that's what it says, graphics card. I don't know much about graphics card, but I did research into the best types and this was one of the top performing graphics. I think graphics are very important for a um, design student because of the fact that you want the best quality and color grading and you want color accurate with your renders. So that's why I definitely invested into um, a better graphics card. The RAM also is very important as in RAM is basically the amount of memory that your laptop can take or the amount of pressure and because of the fact that my Mac had very small RAM, my old MacBook had I think 4 gigabytes of RAM whereas this one has 16 gigabytes which is four times the amount and will definitely run your programs a lot smoother. Also, what else is there? There's a processor. Um, honestly, I don't know much about this one, but I was told by one of the workers that you definitely wanted to look into a core i7 ninth generation processor. So that's why this one has that type of processor and also it has half a terabyte of storage. I am going to be using it for the next few years, hopefully. Look me working every single day for two weeks without rest to get this laptop for uni and I did fall behind because I needed a new laptop and my laptop couldn't run the programs that were needed so this baby means a lot to me and now Luke uses it to play Link and that's fine because I'm happy that he can actually use it for its real purpose but I'm also happy that I can run my program. These are some of the parametric modelings that I did for term on that I never submitted because I ended up failing the course but I'm going to redo it again because it was just a really stressful term but I'm actually pretty proud of what I did complete even though I didn't submit it. Don't learn from me about this guys but yeah. Okay I definitely rambled on way too much but I'm just going to be doing my marketing assignment and I uh, yeah let's get studying. AG boots. Not bad.
cinema 4d i actually don't know how to use it because it's my first time so i'm just watching a tutorial and it's got a lot of the same elements as rhino but it's just a little bit more different i feel like if i did it a bit more i'll get better at it as everybody who would practice stuff would be anyways i don't make sense but it's currently 1 30 and i've been studying since like 9 this morning so i'm going to take a break because um i'm kind of hungry and i should get lunch before my toot or before my lecture at 2 p.m so i'll see you guys for my lecture and i'm just gonna grab lunch very quickly composition is finished for today so my uni for today is done I have to do techniques homework to um, prepare for Thursday because I am going to work tomorrow and in terms of like editing and stuff I think I'm gonna squeeze that into the weekends because I do work my weekend but I have a weekend free and that's when I edit my videos but also you guys should definitely and I want to mention this right now you guys should definitely check out Luke's channel because I have been editing Luke's videos um, by the time I upload this video, he probably will have something up. So definitely, definitely, definitely go subscribe. I hope that you guys will follow along his journey to becoming a pro. So, so yes, I just wanted to let you guys know as well. I don't think that filming me just on the computer for like six hours straight is very entertaining. So I'm just going to be giving you bits and snippets as per usual. Okay guys, I'm pretty much flat out. I don't think I can do any more work for today, but um, yeah, I have work tomorrow. That's why I want to get as much rest as I can so that I can be more productive when I come home from work as well as when I have uni the next day. So this is pretty much what my um, schedule is going to be like for the next few weeks. I just basically have uni and then I have my other courses and then I have work and other things to do. Um, so that's why I'm sorry for the lack of content that might come up because I probably won't have time to film and the things that I film will be probably very, very, very basic and boring in terms of um, what's in my life and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did like this video, comment anything that you'd like to see in the future, subscribe if you haven't and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time that I post a new video and yes. I love you all so much and I hope to see you.